Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us begin this Holy Eucharist by humbly acknowledging our sins, by begging God's forgiveness, and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. 
John, to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write this. The one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands says this. I know your works, your labor, and your endurance, and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles but are not, and discovered that they are impostors. Moreover, you have endurance and have suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet, I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor seats in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade, whatever he does prospers. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Please stand. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, 
please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we should admire the perseverance and enthusiasm showed by the blind man in our gospel today. When he was told that Jesus was passing by, he shouted, Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. And because probably he was causing some commotion, people told him to be quiet. People tried to silence him. But the more that he was told to be quiet, the more he shouted, Jesus, Son of David, have pity on me. And because of his strong desire to be healed, because of his perseverance, despite the people telling him to keep quiet, and because of his enthusiasm to see Jesus, he caught the attention of Jesus, and Jesus granted his request. He was healed. He was able to see but after getting what he wanted, he did not just leave. According to our gospel, he followed Jesus. He became a disciple. Here is a man full of zeal, full of enthusiasm, full of passion for Jesus. For our first reading today, we heard from the beginning of the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible. And in our first reading, we heard how the church at Ephesus was being criticized because they started out full of passion for the Lord. Some of them were even persecuted because of their faith in Jesus. But later, they lost their enthusiasm. Their passion for Jesus wavered. And so according to our first reading today, the Lord said to the church in Ephesus, I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at the beginning. You were full of love at the beginning. But what happened? Why did you lose that love? Why did that love change? Why did that love waver? My dear brothers and sisters, many times we are like the people of the church in Ephesus. We start out things full of zeal. We start the week full of enthusiasm. We start our day full of passion. And yet, somewhere along the way, things change. We become cold, apathetic, and passive. Sa simula, punong-puno ng magagandang pangarap. Pero sa bandang huli, nawawala. Kapag ikinakasal ang mag-asawa, ang daming magagandang bagay punong-puno ng pag-ibig sa isa't isa. 
Pero sa paglipas ng panahon, nagbabago ang pag-ibig, nagbabago ang tingin sa isa't isa. Sinisimulan natin ng linggo na puno ng idealism. Ito yung mga dapat kong ma-accomplish sa araw na ito. Ito yung dapat kong matapos sa linggong ito. Pero sa kalagitnaan ng linggo, nagbabago tayo, nagbabago ang ating pakiramdam, nawawala ang ating enthusiasm. Kaya sa pagtatapos ng linggo, yung mga dapat na gusto natin sanang matapos, hindi rin natin nagawa. We start out full of idealism, but we end in pessimism. My dear brothers and sisters, as we start a new week, as we face the challenges of this week, as we face our different endeavors this week, let us ask the Lord that we may be full of zeal, we may be full of passion and enthusiasm. May the love that we had at the beginning never waver until the end. May the same degree of passion that we have at the beginning remain the same until the very end. May God grant us the passion, the fire for living, the fire to serve others, and the fire to love Him. Please stand. We ask God our Father to open our eyes so that we may clearly see His path and follow Him wholeheartedly. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church, through the witness of humble lives, may show us the direction to God the Father's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our acts of kindness, we may always seek out those who are despised, rejected, or unloved in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That like the blind man of Jericho, we may have firm confidence in the healing presence of Jesus and follow him in the pathway of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who suffer from failing eyesight or blindness may find healing and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may receive eternal rest and perpetual light in the glory of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that by sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your Majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the, ch and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof. roof. But, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.